So guys, today we're going to talk about this new tool I found, which is similar to Canva.com. And this tool is called Crello. I found it on Product Hunt because it was apparently famous around this time. And I just have to mention that I haven't used it before and this is the first time I see it. So I'm just going to analyze it as we go. First of all, similar to what Canva offers, you have some formats for your posts from which you can choose. Apparently, we have social media posts, blogging posts, covers, headers, types of marketing materials, events, and materials for advertising. You can also create posts with custom dimensions. And what I have noticed to be slightly different from what Canva offers are these examples of posts related to the period of the year. Meaning that, for example, for example, we are soon going to celebrate Family Day. And this is why Trello suggests posts related to this. And because it's autumn, you also have similar posts from which you can choose. This is why compared to Canva.com, Crello might be better if you want some ideas. If you click on Inspiration, you can also choose from certain categories such as Fashion and Style. And you will get some examples of posts which could inspire you. Let's choose one to find out more about how Trello actually works. So apparently what Crello brings is the fact that they currently do not have paid layouts, meaning that you can use all of the layouts for free. You can also choose to add photos, and uh, they are mostly stock photos for which you have to pay, but Trello also offers free photos. And what I liked about this uh, way in which they categorize photos is that for Canva you have to scroll down to actually find some free photos while in this case you can just click on free photos and find what you would like to add to your post. Also Crello allows you to upload your own images and if we take a look at background photos you will see that they are very easy to use and very attractive however it seems that you have to pay for most of them. If you take a look at some of the other functionalities, you will see that they are similar to the way in which Canva.com works. For example, if you choose a shape, you can change its color. And the thing you do not particularly like about Trello is the menu from which you can edit something that you post. For example, in Canva, it is more static and it's always in the same place, while this menu is kind of intrusive and it could cover your post. Another thing that could be improved in the case of Crello is the fact that when choosing an illustration, I don't seem to be able to change its color in the way I did with shapes. But this also depends on the illustration that you choose. For example, if I were to choose this egg, I am able to change the colors of it. This tree, however, does not allow for color change. However, you can work with its transparency. One thing I like about Trello.com is that I can upload my own fonts. If you are a Canva.com user, you have to pay for this service. The only thing I like about the editing menu is the fact that I can control things such as font size using this bar and that I do not have to write the actual size of the writing that I want. To be honest, this is all that I would have to say for now about Crello. It is an app that has potential and I would definitely use it in the future because you have a lot of free functionalities that you are able to use for free.
However, there are still small things that Crello could improve in order for it to be one of the top competitors in this business. Please subscribe for more videos and see you soon. Thank you.